In this short video, I'm going to show you how to easily add a nominal code, also known as a count code, into Xero. Now, just for those of you that don't know, this is the descriptive code, for example, advertising and marketing, entertainment, that you select when you prepare either a sales invoice or a purchase invoice. First thing you need to do is click on settings. Now, most of you will have it set as a favorite, but if not, just click general settings and then click on chart of accounts. Now within here, you would click on add account and you would enter information into this screen. Firstly though, I'd like to explain the default zero coding. Now, revenue and income is 200 codes in zero. Cost of sales are 300 codes. Expenditure, 400 codes, corporation tax and dividends are 500 codes, current assets are 600 codes, fixed assets are 700 codes, current liabilities are 800 codes and long-term liabilities and equity are 900 codes. So for this example we will simply add an expense code. Now the thing you will notice within Zero is that when we say expense, actually within zero, most of them are set up as overheads. Expense within zero means an expense claim. So if we select overhead, we then select a code. Now this is potluck as to whether your code is available or not. And 447 is. And I'm going to call it catering, for example. You can put a description in if you like, but it doesn't actually appear anywhere apart from within the chart of accounts. Set the default VAT code. Show on watch uh, on dashboard watch list means whether it shows on the dashboard or not. Show an expense claims means can a staff member doing expense claims actually select this as an option? And enable payments to this account. Now this bottom one should only really be used if you're setting up a bank account or a bank account equivalent, for example, a director's current account or an intercompany account. Once you've filled in all your information, click the Save button, and that's done. Just to show this to you, if you go to Accounts, Purchases, and we'll do a new purchase invoice. We put here Tesco, leave today's date, put in a due date, Catering. Now within the account code, if you start to type catering, you'll see our new code appears. Hopefully you found this session useful. If you have any queries, please do visit our website www.7accounts.com or give us a call on 0330 330 7777. We're always willing to help. We don't need to become your main accountants. We can also work alongside your existing accountant if needed.